Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impression on the Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. I have the sample size, but I'm not about to pay $80 before I try the sample. I don't know what it feels like, I've never tried it. That looks probably like two uses. This is a nice little container. I've never gotten like a sample from my support before. So I looked up the directions to make sure I did everything right. We're gonna jump in just because my skin is getting dry by the second. If I don't like put something on it right after I wash it. I pulled up the Drunk Elephant website just because the Sephora website didn't have too much and I wanted to make sure it was okay to put it over pimples. How to use. Use once a week. Apply an even layer to clean dry skin. Leave on for 20 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. Pat dry and follow immediately with Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil for best results. Slight tingling may experience. And I do have that here. Here's what my skin looks like. I don't really know if you can see it. I obviously have a few pimples. Uh, I have blackheads always on my chin. My forehead is textured. Sides of my nose. Everything is pretty much textured. Or pory. Apply an even layer so it doesn't say how much thickness. I think I should do a thin layer. I'm just taking a little bit of time. I feel like my zits are probably gonna burn quite a bit. I've just been really interested in this because people say this is like a miracle mask. It's Friday night and they said to avoid sunlight. We shall see how this works. I want to do like a mask and chat today like I did with that cream and mask I tried a while back. I just don't talk to y'all anymore and I want to start bringing back the vlogs. If y'all have watched my vlogs before you know they're not actually vlogs. They're just kind of like random parts of my life of me sitting down and chatting. I think I'm just gonna focus it on the center portion of my face and just put like a little bit on the outer portion. Like I'm not gonna cover my entire face just so that I can get more uses out of it. I'm gonna take a little more because I do want to get these like high points of the face just because that's where I get a lot of texture I feel like. It says leave on for 20 minutes. It is 4.12 right now. I'll leave it on until 4.30. It's kind of burning but like not really. It was really just when I initially put it on. I know I didn't really do much of an intro, but today we're gonna see if this $80 mask is worth it, and I know a lot of people that say it is. Let's read the claims. Baby Facial is a pro quality AHA BHA facial that resurfaces to reveal greater clarity, improved skin, improved skin texture and tone, and more youthful radiance. Think of it as an extra nudge for stubborn dull skin. In other words, it knocks your cells off. That's basically what I need. This is just such an intriguing mask to me because it's not a clay mask, so it's not gonna pull anything out. It's like a creamy mask, but it's also not hydrating. I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about. I've started watching The Office. I'm on like the fourth season now, and oh my goodness, like it's so good. If you're not obsessed with Pam and Jim, then who are you? <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna put like a smidge more where this blackhead is. Nothing ever gets this blackhead out except for like squeezing it out. I really want to do a video just talking about Netflix. I just love Netflix and I love watching shows and I love shows that make me happy and I love watching movies and like I just want to hear y'all's favorite Netflix things and I just want y'all to hear my favorite Netflix things, why I love them. I kind of want to maybe start like a series where I do one video talking about a show. It's through the span that I watch it so like it wouldn't be up for a while because like it'd be while I'm watching it and maybe like after every season I like pop in or whenever something happens I'll pop in and be like here's season one so don't watch past this if you haven't seen past season one. Like, I've never looked that up but like I don't know I feel like that'd be really fun just to hear like other people's like thoughts on it. I've been re-watching New Girl until I started watching The Office because normally whenever I just need like a pick me up I'll watch New Girl but now I've been watching The Office because I love The Office now and that's like a pick me up show which I feel like I've kind of abandoned New Girl but at the same time I'm like now I'm watching a new show and it's like making me happy. It's like literally so funny. I don't go two seconds without laughing in New Girl and in The Office. And also Riverdale. Has anyone been watching season three on TV? It's getting kind of weird. I don't know. Anyone else think it's gone in kind of a weird direction? That's all that's been getting me on is TV shows apparently. And my mukbang drive with us with Lila went up yesterday as I'm filming this, which shows probably how like far away this video is. I really love that video and y'all definitely saw the real me in that video. I'm very crazy, very weird. By now my face isn't burning at all, but this just got in my straw. That's probably not safe to put in my mouth. When I breathe on it, my face feels very hot. I'm pretty sure that's all I needed to talk about. Now it's 4.23, so I'll be back in seven minutes. All right, so it is 4.33 and I just finished rinsing it off. Yes, my skin is very red, but that's to be expected. The blackheads on my chin are still here. I don't know if y'all can see this, but like, I feel like you might still see red bumps, but like, I feel like the texture on my forehead is gone. 
Now I'll put the oil on. I feel like my skin was burning a little more after I took it off. Like it kind of felt like pins and needles. I just did one pump of that oil. It already helped and my skin feels so soft. Obviously your skin should feel soft but like there is still bumps like up here but like this part that is nasty normally. What? My eyes did burn a little whenever I was rinsing it off and it was getting around my eyes. I'm going to spray my Mario Badescu Lavender Facial Spray just to kind of calm it down. I feel like my face is getting like redder by the second. Like, can you see that? My face is definitely burning a lot. I can't really recommend it after one use. Um, yes, I feel like it made my skin so, so soft. And I feel like if I used this weekly, it would make a huge difference. But I feel like I need to use this at least one more time before I post this video. I'll pop back in like a week after I've tried this again. Here's my skin after. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference besides the redness. I'm kind of surprised that it didn't get like the blackheads out of my chin because people talked about how it got like their stubborn blackheads and all that. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Sorry I was a little crazy, a little red. You heard it here folks, it's indecisive. So you'll see me in like a week in like one second so here i am two weeks later my nose is very red i look like rudolph it um has been a while it's sunday right now i did the first part of this video friday two weeks ago it's totally fine so my skin has cleared up a lot i don't know if i mentioned it in the video but i just felt like this might have been breaking me out because this was the one thing that i changed besides doing this i've stopped using this since pretty much that video i feel like my skin has cleared up besides like i have these spots right here but i feel like i always have a spot right there last night i felt that there's like a spot coming up here like i have my regular texture once again i'm just going to do it on the like important parts of my face because i don't want to waste this <laughs> and i just washed my face with my cerave hydrating facial cleanser whenever i said it i feel like i was very surprised like i was like whoa i'm like so soft like what face mask doesn't make your face soft my texture wasn't actually gone like it just felt like it was but when i I looked at it afterwards like really close up i still had texture it's not like it got rid of it all it just like i guess smoothed it over so i have my timer set for 20 minutes we'll just see it's really burning around my nose but i think it's just because it's like raw <laughs> we'll be back in like 20 minutes and yeah. it's been 20 minutes i washed it off let me go ahead and put the face oil on because my skin is real dry i really don't know if this is worth 80 dollars people say that it's like such a miracle maybe you just have to really use it consistently every week it like makes it super red so it's obviously doing something right unless it's just irritating my skin my blackheads once again aren't gone and this part as i was taking it off i realized there's still like a lot of texture right here my forehead texture has gone down i can tell but like once again, it's not completely gone. I feel like I just had really high expectations for this mask. But I should have because it's $80. We shall see if I break out a bunch tomorrow. Because if I do, then I'll know it's this mask that did it. Because it was after this mask that I started breaking out. I'm pretty sure I used this and that orange thing like kind of in the same time. Right now, at this point, I do not think it's worth it. I feel like whenever I filmed the first part, I just wanted it to work. I said this in my last mask video. Whenever I find masks that either don't do anything like for me or like, don't work out for me, I don't want to post but like i want y'all to know that i did try this mask and i tried it twice with a sample and like there's still a little left i recommend you just to go get a sample and see for yourself like if you think this is worth it obviously if you have like really sensitive skin like i feel like if it's gonna burn like that and if it's gonna like make my skin this red then i feel like i need it to do something i just recommend you go get a sample of this see what you think for yourself to me this isn't worth it let me know down below if you have like a different opinion i need to know if i'm doing something wrong i just realized my door is open and this drawer is open this is like where my like filming setup is so that's why there's like a bar there but whatever it's fine i really hope y'all enjoyed this video even though like it's kind of a fail but also like i'm kind of just unsure about this situation <laughs> i'm really bummed out that it doesn't work for me but at the same time i'm not because now i don't want to pay any dollars for my man but like still i wanted it to work <laughs> i know the background isn't obviously like even but like this is what i'm gonna film my video with tomorrow so i just thought i'd pop in here it's actually been like a week since i did the mask but i have come to like a final consensus it like really dried out my skin the two three days after my skin was so dry and it doesn't really make that much of a difference it makes it more textured more bumpy more red 
more red spots. I don't recommend it if you have super dry skin, especially sensitive skin. For me personally, I would go watch other videos of other people with different skin types, but I know a person with oily skin who loves it, so maybe it just depends on your skin type, but it just really, really dried out my skin. It didn't make that much of a difference that I want to like endure that dryness and uncomfortability. My skin is finally back to a glowy, not so dry because I'm like moisturizing it twice a day. Just wanted to pop in with this update. I didn't want to give you just like a confused opinion but now I definitely know that I am not gonna use it again because it didn't do enough for my skin to where I feel like it was worth it drying out my skin and making my skin feel that way. That's just my personal opinion. I definitely recommend you just get a sample. This was kind of a fail, but I mean like, it's kind of good because it's $80. Just let me know your skin type and if you've tried it and what you think of it. Just see if it works for you. Get a sample. Might as well if it's free. So yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!